The James Webb Telescope has been hailed as humanity's most powerful eye in the cosmos. But what if I told you it has nine critical limitations that profoundly impact astronomical research? These constraints aren't just minor inconveniences. They fundamentally shape what we can discover about our universe. Today we will explore the fascinating compromises engineers made to create this technological marvel. Each limitation represents a calculated trade-off, where revolutionary capabilities come at a price. Because sometimes, understanding Webb's boundaries helps us appreciate its extraordinary achievements even more. Limitation 1. The Cosmic Countdown. Webb's Finite Mission Timeline. Every moment the James Webb Space Telescope captures cosmic wonders, it's also counting down to its inevitable demise. Floating in the vastness of space, this astronomical marvel faces a stark reality. Its lifespan depends entirely on a limited supply of hydrazine fuel. Unlike smartphones which we can recharge or cars we can refuel, Webb exists in a precarious balance at the second Lagrange point, a gravitational sweet spot approximately one million miles from Earth. The telescope wasn't designed to last forever. Initially engineered for a five-year mission with hopes of reaching 10, Webb has surprised everyone with projections now suggesting it could continue its cosmic observations for over 20 years. This extended lifespan represents a triumph of engineering despite the unavoidable fuel limitation. Imagine driving a car with a full tank that must last your entire road trip with no gas stations anywhere along your route. This is Webb's reality. Unlike Hubble, which orbits close enough to Earth for astronaut servicing, Webb operates beyond our reach. This isolation compelled engineers to build unprecedented reliability into every system. Fortunately, Webb's launch aboard the Ariane A5 rocket proved exceptionally precise, preserving far more fuel than anticipated. Engineers maximized every drop of hydrazine during the critical journey, essentially giving humanity additional years of groundbreaking observations beyond the original mission parameters. Limitation 2. Webb's Extreme Cold Requirement Beyond the fuel challenge lies Webb's true engineering marvel, its extraordinary thermal management system. Imagine trying to detect the faintest whispers of infrared light from 13 billion years ago while surrounded by your heat. This is a paradoxical challenge. It requires observing heat signatures while remaining colder than Antarctica's most frigid night. To function properly, the telescope must maintain temperatures below 50 Kelvin, minus 223 degrees Celsius. Without this extreme cold, Webb would essentially blind itself, its own infrared radiation overwhelming ancient signals, like trying to spot a candle through a raging forest fire. The solution? A remarkable five-layer sun shield functioning like a series of cosmic firewalls, each creating progressively colder zones. This masterpiece creates one of the most extreme temperature gradients ever engineered. The sun-facing side reaches 85 degrees Celsius, hot enough to cook an egg, while the instrument side plummets to negative 233 degrees Celsius. Vacuum is the perfect insulator between each layer, preventing heat transfer far more effectively than a single thick barrier. Even this incredible passive cooling system isn't enough for Webb's most sensitive instrument. The mid-infrared instrument requires an astonishing 7 Kelvin, just 7 degrees above absolute zero, the worst temperature theoretically possible. Engineers developed a specialized helium cryocooler system, pushing the boundaries of space-based refrigeration. Limitation 3. The Cosmic Keyhole. Webb's Narrow Field of View. From sub-absolute zero temperatures, we pivot to another of Webb's fundamental constraints, one that shapes how astronomers must approach their cosmic investigations. Imagine peering at the night sky through a drinking straw. That narrow, restricted view is Webb's reality. Despite its revolutionary capabilities, this $10 billion marvel can only observe a patch of sky equivalent to viewing a grain of sand held at arm's length. This cosmic keyhole differs significantly from wide-field survey observatories. The upcoming Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope will capture areas 100 times larger in a single observation. Each instrument serves a distinct astronomical purpose with Webb's design transforming the search for rare cosmic phenomena into a precision-targeting mission. With its 2.2 arc-minute field of view, 
Webb's near-infrared camera creates a workflow where astronomers must first use instruments like Hubble for broad surveys, creating cosmic treasure maps that Webb uses to zoom in on specific targets. This celestial choreography requires meticulous coordination between observatories. This constraint represents a deliberate trade-off. Webb sacrifices breadth for unprecedented depth, like switching from a wide-angle lens to a powerful microscope. Its narrow field enables extraordinary resolution that reveals details invisible to other telescopes, allowing us to witness the universe's tiniest features with breathtaking clarity. Limitation 4. The Slow Cosmic Detective. Webb's Limited Spectroscopy Capabilities. The cosmic microscope may capture extraordinary detail, but there's a hidden constraint that few outside the astronomy community realize. When Webb transitions from sympographing the cosmos to actualizing its chemical composition, observation times stretch dramatically, turning the universe's most advanced telescope into perhaps its most deliberate cosmic detective. Spectroscopy represents Webb's true investigative superpower. Breaking light into its component wavelengths reveals the chemical fingerprints of distant objects, telling us what exoplanet atmospheres, primordial galaxies, and newborn stars are made of. But this power demands time. While Webb captures stunning images in hours, spectroscopic analysis consumes days. This creates an agonizing dilemma for astronomers. With Webb's finite lifetime, every extended spectroscopic observation means dozens of other cosmic targets remain unexplored. Consider an astronomer's choice. Spend three days analyzing a potentially habitable exoplanet's atmosphere or use that time to image 30 different galaxy clusters. Webb's near-infrared spectrograph offers a partial solution. Its multi-object capability analyzes up to 100 targets simultaneously. This technological marvel requires precise advanced planning. Astronomers must align each target in a cosmic choreography without error. The JWST Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey, JADES, exemplifies the community's strategic response integrating imaging and spectroscopy to maximize scientific return from each precious hour of web time. Limitation 5. The One-Way Mission. Webb's Lack of Repairability. As astronomers stretch Webb's capabilities to their limits through careful planning, they do so with the sobering knowledge that this telescope was designed as a one-way mission. Unlike Hubble's five astronaut servicing missions that replaced failed components and installed upgrades over its lifetime, Webb drifts in the cosmic wilderness of L2, a million miles beyond the reach of human hands, where a single critical failure could end its scientific journey forever. NASA considered making Webb serviceable, conducting studies on human or robotic missions, but engineers concluded that the potential benefits did not justify the increased complexity, mass, and cost. This stark reality meant Webb needed to work perfectly from deployment like launching a rocket with no return trajectory. To compensate for this vulnerability, Webb incorporates extraordinary redundancy, a masterclass in preemptive engineering. The telescope features backup electronics, duplicate sensors, and alternative operational modes that activate if primary systems fail, serving as Webb's insurance policy against space hazards. The stakes became clear after Hubble's troubled beginnings. When Hubble was launched in 1990, Scientists discovered its primary mirror had been ground incorrectly, resulting in blurry images. Astronauts salvaged Hubble through a dramatic repair, but Webb won't have that luxury. This reality drove engineers to develop unprecedented testing methods for the $10 billion observatory. Limitation. 6. The Impossible Test. Webb's Ground Testing Challenges. The haunting memories of Hubble's mirror flaw created a psychological challenge as great as the engineering ones facing Webb's team. After witnessing a billion-dollar telescope launch with a critical defect, how could engineers possibly ensure Webb wouldn't suffer the same fate? This was especially true when Webb presented a testing paradox that seemed utterly insurmountable. Picture the scene. Engineers hover anxiously as Webb's sun shield unfolds during a critical test. Like a swimmer supported by water's buoyancy, the delicate structures hang from ingenious gravity offloaders, mechanical systems that counteract Earth's pull, simulating the weightlessness of space. This test represents just one solution to Webb's fundamental challenge, 
A massive origami-like telescope designed for the vacuum of space had to be verified on Earth. Webb's 69-foot sunshield wouldn't fit inside any existing vacuum chamber on our planet. Engineers tackled this by breaking Webb into testable components. For its mirrors, they constructed specialized cryogenic chambers, simulating the extreme cold of deep space, ensuring the beryllium segments wouldn't deform. Following Hubble's disaster, Webb's testing program underwent revolutionary transformation. Unlike Hubble, which fatally used the same tool for manufacturing and verification, Webb employed multiple independent verification systems with strict success criteria. As Feinberg and Geithner emphasized, separate measurement tools became mandatory. This approach integrated isolated testing with sophisticated computer models, culminating in end-to-end -end verification of unprecedented rigor. Limitation 7. The Cosmic Weathering, Webb's Hardware Degradation Challenges Beyond Earth's protective atmosphere and magnetic field lies the unforgiving realm where Webb now operates. A cosmic shooting gallery where microscopic particles become deadly projectiles. While our advanced testing simulated many space hazards, the reality of L2 has already proven harsher than anticipated. In May 2022, a micrometeoroid struck Webb's primary mirror with such force that it exceeded pre-launch damage predictions, sending a ripple of concern through the scientific community. In the vacuum of space, Webb faces an endless barrage of threats. Picture a speck of dust traveling faster than a bullet. These micrometeoroids constantly pummel Webb's delicate gold-coated beryllium mirrors. The May 2022 strike was particularly concerning because it occurred much earlier than statistical models predicted. NASA's data shows that of the 21 measurable impacts recorded by January 2023, all but one were within anticipated tolerances. This statistically rare event forced engineers to reconsider their risk models, even as Webb continues to perform above all mission requirements. The threat extends beyond micrometeoroids. Space radiation silently bombards Webb's sensitive electronics and detectors, mm. gradually degrading their performance over time. This invisible enemy required engineers to develop radiation-hardened components and specialized shielding, creating a technological fortress against the constant cosmic assault. Limitation 8. The Cosmic Competition Webb's Oversubscription Problem While engineers fortified Webb against the physical threats of space, an entirely different battle rages back on Earth, paradoxically reflecting Webb's overwhelming success. The telescope's revolutionary capabilities have created unprecedented scientific demand, sparking remarkable collaboration as astronomers form alliances to share data and maximize returns from each precious hour of observing time. Yet this scientific enthusiasm carries a sobering reality. Nine others face rejection for every groundbreaking proposal accepted. Webb's first cycle alone saw demand outstripping available time by factors of 5 to 10, a staggering statistic that translates to countless potential discoveries remaining hidden in cosmic darkness. Behind the scenes, independent scientists engage in the difficult task of proposal review, weighing scientific merit against technical feasibility in a process that inevitably creates winners and losers. The stakes couldn't be higher. Researchers spend years developing observation plans only to enter this high-stakes competition, where career-defining discoveries about galaxy evolution, exoplanet atmospheres, or potential signs of life face years of delay. This limitation has become a catalyst for unity within the astronomical community. Even as early career scientists face postponed research opportunities, these scientific cooperatives ensure that the collective work continues transforming competition into collaboration despite Webb's greatest limitation. Limitation 9. The One Filter. Limitation. Webb's Sequential Imaging Constraint. These scientific cooperatives have revolutionized Webb's utilization, but other technical constraints force astronomers into impossible choices. While most of us imagine Webb simply turning its gaze to capture cosmic wonders in all their glory, the reality involves a meticulous sequential process that dramatically impacts what we can learn. Webb must photograph objects one filter at a time, creating a profound challenge when studying different properties of distant galaxies. Each cosmic attribute, chemical composition, temperature, structure, 
reveals itself at specific wavelengths across Webb's impressive point, 6 to 28 micrometer range. This sequential imaging becomes particularly heartbreaking with rapidly evolving phenomena. Consider a supernova, where stellar material expands and cools by the hour. As Webb finishes capturing data in one filter and switches to another, the explosion transforms forever, with crucial details lost to time. This creates an agonizing dilemma for astronomers. Which wavelengths do you prioritize when you can't capture them all before your target changes? The consequences ripple through observation planning, as researchers must strategically select specific filters based on scientific priorities. Often, this means making painful sacrifices, choosing to observe certain wavelengths while abandoning others that might hold equally valuable insights. The filter system's sequential nature consumes precious observation time, limiting the cosmic targets that can be thoroughly studied within Webb's lifespan. As we've journeyed through Webb's remarkable capabilities and inherent constraints, it's worth acknowledging that every limitation represents a deliberate engineering choice, necessary compromises that enabled revolutionary infrared vision. Webb's story centers on the balance between aspiration and reality. As Paul Geithner noted, adding cameras to watch Webb's deployment sounds like a no-brainer, but there's much more to it than meets the eye. These calculated compromises haven't limited Webb, but inspired innovation, giving rise to complementary missions like the Nancy Grace Roman Telescope, which has wide field capabilities. As you gaze at Webb's breathtaking images, remember that limitations didn't constrain our vision. They sharpened it, becoming the blueprint for humanity's next great cosmic explorers. If you're as fascinated by space as we are, you won't want to miss these other videos. We dive even deeper into the universe's secrets and explore recent discoveries that could revolutionize your understanding of the cosmos. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic adventure. Stay curious and keep looking up.